a Taurus, welcome and welcome back. This is your November 2022 reading. Thank you guys so much for being here, okay? Yes, this is a Pisces channel. You are correct. However, we also offer collective readings and monthly zodiac sign readings so over here. So more than likely, if you found the reading, it was because you have some type of Pisces placed in your chart, okay? Or you could be dealing with a Pisces, but either way, there is probably a message here for you if you've clicked on this reading. So thank you guys so much for being here. We are going to try to keep this reading a little bit more structured so we can see what's going on more clearly for you, Taurus. Sit back, relax, get comfortable, honey. Okay, take notes if you need to. And subscribe if you're new, you guys. Hit the subscribe button, like the video. It's a great way to help the channel. And anything you guys need to know is going to be below in the description box. All right. So let's go ahead and see. First, we're going to start with a random word, okay? Now, this is the random word generator. I'm going to hit it three times, and on the third time, that's going to be your word, Taurus. So let's go ahead and see. One, two, three. <laughs> Why did you have grape cereal and milk? Are y'all thinking about food? <laughs> Okay, so your word, Taurus, is milk. <laughs> this could be involving calcium. You, need, you may need to incorporate some type of calcium supplement into your diet. Please understand, I am not a doctor, lawyer, or psychologist. I cannot give you medical, legal, or financial advice. Okay, these videos are for entertainment purposes and educational purposes only for the tarot, okay? However, to keep it fun and simple, you might need to drink some milk. Um, this could also be talking about dairy. Like maybe you've been eating a lot of dairy or drinking a lot of milk, cow's milk, and you may not need to do that. It may be something that's upsetting your stomach. You could be lactose intolerant. Um, this could also be something about milk, like milk production, milk ducts. I don't know what that has to do with anything. If somebody's pregnant, they could be starting to produce milk or breastfeeding. This could be about a lack of shortage of baby formula. I don't know, but it's something about milk, okay? Milk is significant. <laughs> um, I feel like the milk of something, though, like, okay, I'm thinking about Game of Thrones, milk of the poppy, right? Milk of magnesia, okay? It's like, I don't know. Like, it just seems like the life force of something. So this could be involving your life force energy, like the milk of who you are okay or like you know to me when they talk about milk of something it's like li liquidated liquidation so you could be liquidating some type of assets liquidation of assets liquefying something i don't know exactly but <laughs> that's what i got <laughs> let's see if there's any spiritual meanings of milk on google okay <laughs> It says milk is a powerful symbol within most cultural traditions. It is the fluid of eternal life, fertility, and abundance. Okay. It is the food of the gods, the first human diet. It flows freely in the promised land of Canaan. Okay. Milk symbolizes the mother. It is deeply connected with life itself. So I'm getting like Empress energy from you, Taurus. I told you like milk production, like ducks, like I was getting like motherhood you know, all that type of good stuff. But I do feel like it's talking about your life force, your your power. Like, that's what I said earlier, like your life force energy. Okay, there's something about your life force energy that's really important right now. Your word is milk. Okay, but let's see where your energy is going to be in the month of November 2022, Taurus. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Father, Mother, God, for Taurus. What is Taurus's energy? November 2022. What is Taurus's energy? Ooh, third eye chakra. Interesting. So we're getting chakras. Aries got sacral. Um, you got third eye chakra. So your intuition is on point. Okay, Taurus. Um, don't doubt yourself all November. Okay. Um, because I feel like this is a month where there are going to be some doubts that people are going to have setting in. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I, that's just how I feel. 
But I feel, Taurus, for you, your intuition is booming on point. So if you feel something and you know that's what you feel, don't let anybody change your mind on the situation. Okay, love begins is at the bottom. So there could be some emotional situations that you deal with um, in regards to meeting new people, finding new love, or just doing something that it is that you love, starting something new. You know that it's the right thing for you to do at this time, and you know if it's the wrong thing for you to do. Um, and then we have recognition and reward. So I feel like on a daily basis, your energy in the month of November is going to be very positive, Taurus. Um, I definitely feel like because the North Node is in Taurus, right? South Node is Scorpio, North Node is Taurus. I feel like you guys are actually providing a lot of energy to people around you. So you may need to be very mindful of how much energy you are draining um, when it comes to dealing with the people around you. Um, at, but at, at the most part, I feel like on a daily basis, I feel you are going to be feeling very vindicated from whatever inclinations that you have intuitively. I feel like you're going to be feeling vindicated by that. Um, but let's see where your opposition is going to be because you know the ops, they're always around. But if we're prepared for their arsenal, then you know, whatever opposition they try to bring, it will not affect us. So Taurus, we're going to pull a shadow because that's how your opposition is going to be um, trying to break you down in the month of November. At least this is how I'm basing the reading. So let's go ahead and see for Taurus, guardian angels, archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors, father, mother, God, what is their shadow November 2022? Okay, resisting change, Taurus. Okay. You beautiful Taurus is you. Y'all are just, <laughs> y'all just know that it's a certain way you need to do things. And that's just how it is. Like, if it ain't broke, what? Don't fix it, bitch. Okay. <laughs> like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what y'all are telling people. Okay. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Thank you for being patient, Taurus. I'm just writing your title. Because <laughs> what I feel like this is about is definitely people. Oh, look, 444. Four, four, when I'm filming your video. So I feel like there are going to be people who could try to. <sighs> okay, let me read it. It says, ask yourself why you are not wanting to change. Look at the positive side to the changes. And then it says narrow-minded at the bottom, which caught my eye. It says, you have a limited outlook on perspective and thoughts. What makes you think your thoughts are solid <laughs> are solid gold? And I'm laughing because it's like, y'all are like, mm -mm, nope. Everybody going to be mad about these shadows, but it's really not bad. Honestly, it's just something you need to be aware of. I do feel like narrow-mindedness goes hand in hand with resisting change but i feel like the the opposition when you think about someone trying to test you or someone trying to kind of get to you taurus right they're going to use the fact that you repetitively do things maybe in the same format in the same way over and over again people are going to try to use this against you so i'm not saying that you're necessarily wrong but i am saying this is a shadow that you may need to evaluate because it could be causing you some type of weakness uh, when it comes to when people deal with you. It could be causing you a weakness because they know and understand how you are going to respond. They know how to get you to react. And it's because you do the same thing over and over again, okay? Um, yeah, that's really what I feel like it is. That's That's how I feel like people may try to weaken you in the month of November is knowing your routines, knowing your habits, knowing your schedule, okay? Knowing what it is that you do, okay? Just knowing who you are and, and how you respond could definitely be some type of weakness that a person may try to use um, on you in the month of November, okay? People knowing that you only think one way and purposefully saying things or doing things that could trigger you, okay? Because you're trying to take action. You're trying to cultivate something. You're trying to manifest. You're trying to make something happen in your life. You could definitely be trying to change situations in your life. 
Um, but you could be going about it the same way that you've always gone about it, which could be slowing down your manifestations. Okay, don't shoot me. I'm just the messenger. Okay. All right, so let's see. For Taurus, November 2022, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Father, Mother, God, for Taurus. What is Taurus going to be dealing with in the month of November? What is happening with Taurus in the month of November that they need to be aware of? Okay, y'all got two cards. Why y'all always being extra and stuff? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, and then we have the King of Pentacles at the bottom. You're upright, okay? Eight of Wands. Um, Yeah, so you've gotten to a very high position, Taurus. I feel like you've gotten to a really high position. I feel like you guys have a really nice home. Like, your home is very plush and lush and lavish, but it's not overdone. I feel like it's just very comfortable and luxurious i'm getting like a really luxurious energy for you in the month of november i do feel that there could be a situation where some of you may be moving okay um or you could be doing a lot of communicating in the month of november okay some of you may be traveling things could be moving very quickly you could also be receiving a lot of messages like a lot of messages are coming in spiritual messages physical messages emails text messages dms this could just be like in terms of your job and what you do like a lot of you guys could be in leadership roles or positions at your work or your place of employment or you know you could own your own business and be your own Ooh, excuse me own your own business and be your own boss that's what i was trying to say okay but with the lovers and the five of swords, I do feel that you're trying to think about your choices in the month of November. And it's like you're really trying to figure out if you are making the right choices, whether or not you should have done something differently in the past. I feel like you are having some type of evaluation, um, seeing the truth about situations, seeing the truth of, about you know, the consequences and repercussions of certain decisions that you've made over time. You could be dealing with a Gemini as well or an Aquarius. There's definitely something here where I feel like you're making the choice that's best for you. I feel like you're making the choice that's best for you or that's what this person is doing that you are dealing with. Okay, someone is making the choice that's best for them. They, they like they have to cover their own ass in a situation so to speak i do feel like a lot of you are choosing not to give up on love um or you're choosing not to give up on a person but i definitely get this vibe where you're making the choices that are best for you right regardless about how anybody else feels about it yeah you could definitely be dealing with a Gemini. The Eight of Swords just slipped out, but I put it back. Um, but what's this Lovers for Taurus? What is Lovers? Page of Cups, Queen of Swords. Dang, okay. So it could definitely be a Gemini. Um, Interesting. What's this page of cups and queen of swords? What's this page of cups and queen of swords? Hermit Virgo. Hmm. So someone's been thinking about an offer. Okay. You may have made an offer to someone and they're they're considering it. Or you're considering someone else's offer. I feel like you're trying to find holes in someone's story or you're trying to figure out like 
if someone is really telling you the truth or if what they're really offering you is real, because you've seen this person be very, I want to say conniving. I don't want to say vindictive, but kind of feels like that. You've seen someone be very conniving, which to me indicates that they are calculated in their choices, their moves, their decisions. It's like everything they do is for a reason. It's like, you know how when people say nothing in this world is free? It's kind of like, that's how this person operates. You know, nothing that comes from this person is going to come without a cost. Okay. Page of swords definitely could be investigating someone here. Queen of swords. Wow. Okay. So what I feel like there is like someone is being watched very closely before a decision is made. Someone is being watched very closely, investigated even, spied on, page of swords, hermit. Someone is trying to figure out your strategy or you're trying to figure theirs. What's the five of swords? There's a lot of air energy. I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but really just Gemini and Aquarius, to be honest with you. Maybe Virgo. Okay. What's the five of swords? Oh, okay. All right. Five of wands in reverse. What else is the five of swords for Taurus? Seven of cups. Ooh, child. It just seems like someone is, ooh. Someone is choosing to walk away and someone is choosing to kind of fight regardless. It's like someone's going to fight regardless and somebody else is not. That's what I feel. And, you know, I feel like the dust could be settling from this fight. I don't know if you got into an argument with somebody, Taurus, but it kind of feels like, there was an investigation or some type of uh, clarity that someone received about this situation or about this person. And it's clear that someone is, you know, kind of conniving and self-serving. I just heard city, that my city I got the keys to my city. I play the song for the ladies. When you and me, no problem. Ask about me. Ask about me. I just heard that. I don't know. I feel like someone could be spreading lies about you within the community. Or within a community, someone could be spreading lies about you. I feel like this has people's eyes on you or has people watching you or something like that. Or there's some type of family situation where there's been pain and suffering. I don't know if you're going through a divorce. I don't really get that. But like, it's just the king of swords, queen of swords. Like this could be amongst siblings, brother and sister, two friends. Two ex friends, two exes. And I just feel like, I don't know, somebody could be spreading lies about you. Or they could be telling, I mean, shit, they could be telling your business. That's what it really could be. It might not be lies, it could be the truth, but it's just a matter of them telling your business to people. What's the Five of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Cups? The Eight of Cups and the Devil. Okay. Okay. So I feel like you're warning somebody about someone toxic. Okay. I don't know. It's like someone's walking into the lion's den, bro. And I feel like with... Oh, title card. And the Hierophant. So I don't know what you are. But I feel like you're warning somebody or you're teaching someone. You could be a teacher. You could be a professor. You could be someone who educates others. Um, 
whatever way that you teach or whatever you it's like you have information and I feel like you're exposing that information. I feel like somebody has information that they are exposing. They're either exposing information about you. And that's why you need to make sure that your moves are more calculated. Maybe you're not being so repetitive, Taurus. Or you're giving someone else information about another person. Because it's like, I don't know. I just feel like you're warning someone about a person's behavior. This could be someone younger. This could be someone very innocent. It could be a water sign, air sign. I don't know, Virgo, whatever. But I feel like you, Virgo, and Capricorn are out here. I also feel like Gemini and Aquarius are out here as well. Possibly Libra. And maybe Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I feel like there's someone here who's warning another person about a person's toxic behavior. So that they're not confused or so that they don't get in a fight or so that they don't argue. It's like there's a person here who's sharing what they've learned about another person. Because it's like, hey, you may have already done this. Yes, baby. Hey, Papoos. I'm doing a video. Come here, come here, come here. Give me kisses still. Oh, you voted. What did you this, vote? This town. Oh, you! Ah, we gotta talk about this time. Okay, come here, come here. Hmm, I love you. Hey, Jeremiah. Hmm, I love you. Love you too. Hey, y'all get started on your chores. Your dad said he's gonna come get you when you get done. Hey, everybody gotta go because everybody gotta get haircuts. Okay. See. No, you gonna go over there. Okay. And I understand you might not be happy about it, but you need to talk to him about that. Okay? Just talk to him about when he's going to get y'all's haircut and then ask him if he could come pick you up, but you're going to have to do that. Okay, baby. Sorry, Taurus. But you know I got to do what I got to do. So what I feel, I feel like there's a situation here. Someone was going in a particular direction, Taurus, right? This could be you... Um, and you got warned or you were warning someone else, but someone was going in a particular direction where they did not see what was coming because it was an eclipse. So whatever this person was approaching, you saw them coming. It's kind of like you saw them walking down the road and you was like, don't go that way. Like it was this little boy in the neighborhood the other day and it was a dog just walking around, big ass motherfucking dog. And he little, you know, this little kid was little. He ain't but so big, but the dog was bigger than him. And I was like, I said, I said, hey, I said, hey, poo poo, don't go down there. He was like, I'm not. I said, just be careful out here because it's a dog just walking around. I need you to be careful. And he was like, okay, I will. I'm not going to go down there. That's kind of how I feel like it's like this is a warning. This is a warning that you're giving someone. And I don't know. If somebody warned you about something, you may be resisting this warning, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it, it, it's something that's pretty important because it feels like somebody was walking. The hermit came and stopped someone and was like, hey, look, I know where you're about to go because this is where the hermit just came from. And it's like, hey, I know where you're about to go, Queen of Swords. You might not want to go down there. Okay. You might not want to go down that route because I already seen what's down there and it's not nothing cute. And this person may have already decided, you know, look, I'm just going to do my own thing. You know, I'm going to go this way and do what I said I was going to do. And I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it caused some type of confusion. It's like the five of wands reverse and the seven of cups is opposites. But it's like they're the same energy somewhat. It's, it just seems like someone is going into a cloud of smoke or someone is walking into confusion. And I feel like you're witnessing this or you're seeing it take place or like you tried to warn someone. But I just kind of feel like, you know, I don't know. I just kind of feel like maybe this person has to learn their own lessons. I feel like maybe they didn't listen to you. Maybe you didn't listen to someone else, but... I definitely feel like, Taurus, you tried to teach someone a lesson or you tried to warn some, someone about 
an offer, okay, Page of Cups, you could have definitely tried to warn someone about communicating with this Capricorn or this Virgo or another Taurus. Um, but for whatever reason, like with this Five of Swords, Five of Wands, it kind of just feels like somebody has to learn their own lesson on their own time. Okay. Or someone has to like learn the hard way. Now, if someone, if you did warn someone about a person or a job or a situation or an investment or something like that, I feel like some of the people may be listening to you. Some of them may not. That's just kind of what I feel. I kind of feel like, you know, some people may be heeding your advice. Some of them may not. But it's like, you can't be in control of that. I feel like the only thing that you can do is be like the life force energy. All you can do is just give the information. A person has to decide whether or not they're going to take the information or not. Okay. But I do feel like you're communicating or trying to let someone know about something ahead of time. Someone could be being watched or you could just observe what someone is doing and you see that they're hurting people and you kind of just don't want people to get hurt. You know, but I would be very careful about that right now because, you know, there's only so much you can do. And I, I definitely believe that if you're called to say something or do something, do it. If that's what you're called to do, right? The universe supports you. But if you've tried to give someone a warning or you've tried to let someone know that something is bullshit, at the end of the day, like everybody has their own path and everyone has to learn their own lessons. And I feel that this could just be a time where, you know, Everyone's not going to heed your warnings and they may have to learn their own lessons in a situation. This could also be what's happening with you. It's like someone could have warned you about a person uh, or a situation, told you not to deal with them, told you not to go down that road. You did it anyway. Okay, I am diplomatic. You did it anyway. And now you see the error of your ways. Now you've learned that you need to move on from this situation. Okay. Or now maybe you see that, you know, you should have listened to someone, but it's okay because either way, you're going to gain the lesson. But sometimes you have to experience things on your own and that's just a part of your journey. That's just what I feel, Taurus. So I feel like this could be happening in November where you've already been through something and you're just trying to like warn people ahead of time because you know what it feels like. You are, you're basically our experience. And I don't know how else to say that, but it's like you're our experience. You're our teacher because you've already been through this or you already see something foreshadowing something. And that could be where the Pisces is coming in in your chart. But, yeah, it's like you you know that we're going either as society is concerned, like a community, like we're going down a, a rabbit hole that's dangerous. Or you just see someone going into a situation that you've had to learn the hard way about before, you know. Three, three, three. You got 11, you got 11, 11, three, 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 and the number two. Yeah, but I, I feel like there's definitely, five is significant for you as well with the Hierophant, the Five of Swords, and the Five of Wands. I feel that there could be some uncomfortable changes that you may be experiencing in the month of November. Mm-hmm. And you may have to make some difficult choices that everyone is not going to agree with. But again, if you're called to do something, I feel like you should do it. All right. For Taurus, what is the angel number for the month of November? Oh, wow. Y'all keep wanting to get to. Why did I just say five was significant and both these cards wanted to come out? Taurus. Okay. Something might be uncomfortable. I, that's all I'm saying. But you did get a master number. So let, you know. Keep that in mind. First, though, you have 555. Five, five. It says a major shift is about to come into your life. Experience and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. I am optimistic. Exactly. Like, so I, I really do feel like there's something that's about to change your direction in life. I feel like it's a lesson that you're going to learn 
or it's some type of guidance that you're going to receive. I definitely feel like you could be receiving downloads from God, from the creator, source, whoever you believe in. And it's going to give you insight. These downloads are going to give you insight about the choices that you need to make. And these may be some difficult, hard choices, but in the end, you're going to come out stronger because you're going to come out more, more wise, more educated, um, and just have more experience under your belt. And then you also got master number 55, which says substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. I'm evolving. And then it has resisting change up here. So, I mean, please don't be upset at what I'm saying. I'm just saying that there could be a situation here where you're not really grasping what someone is trying to tell you because you feel like something has been working for so long and if it ain't broke don't fix it but at the end of the day like times are changing and if we get too stagnated within our routine and what we've been used to and what's been working but then that stops working we're going to be stuck and i think spirit doesn't want you to be stuck. They want you to evolve into this new phase and be more optimistic about what could happen if you decide to maybe take a different course of action. Um, if you decide maybe to speak to people in a different way. Um, if you decide possibly to be maybe a little bit more considerate of other people's feelings when you when you make decisions it doesn't mean you have to change what you decide to do it just may mean that you could find a better delivery for whatever it is that needs to be done or needs to be said okay because i feel like somebody's trying to warn you about going down a path that's toxic or that could be negatively uh, affecting your thoughts and the decisions that you make. Someone could be trying to offer you a new idea. Okay, trying to guide you towards a new path. And that's what I feel like this is about. It says a major shift is about to come into your life. Experience. And change your path's direction, okay? So there could actually be like a um, a physical angel around you within another person. And they're trying to lead you down a specific path or give you new ideas or a new way to handle situations. You know, but I don't know. This could also be you. And this is what you do for other people. However, the way that I see it is like you may be hesitant to listen to this person because like, who the fuck are they? Right. But at the end of the day, like they could be offering you something that could be vital, at least for you to consider. You don't have to do it, but you can at least consider it. And I feel like it would be beneficial. OK, Taurus. So what's the overall advice for November 2022 for Taurus? What is the overall advice for Taurus? For November 2022, I need to get some nail glue. My nail is already popping off and I am not happy about it. Okay, we have successful funding and sever vows of poverty. Wow, these cards are hitting, boy. Okay, so successful funding. Aries also got this as well. It says your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning turning the idea into reality. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you, okay? And then you also have several vows of poverty. It says, dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So that's beautiful. Whatever you may feel that you're experiencing, because I feel kind of like this is a fight or flight reaction to something you know, maybe you grew up in poverty or maybe you experienced divorce or it, it you, you could have been through any any number of financially challenging situations. 
that caused you to make certain decisions when it comes to how you deal with people and how you deal with money. And I feel that you guys now have the opportunity because I said, like I said, you don't want to be stuck in a mentality that is becoming obsolete or outdated. And I feel like right now you have an opportunity to step into a new light so that you won't be left behind. I, I'm not trying to say it like that, but that's how I feel. So Taurus, I hope the message helped you guys. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I definitely have apparel, so be sure to click that link below. Liking the video is a great way to support the channel for free. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. You know, whatever you feel, let me know how you feel in the comments about the reading. Let me know if it's true. Let me know if it's not true. Tell me what your opinion is without spreading too much of your business personally online. Um, and also, if you want a personal reading, that information is linked in my website link below in the description box, you guys. So that's pretty much it. I hope to see you guys next time, Taurus. And remember, this is your circle, boo. Bye.